All right, we got another video here, public announcement for Bitcoin, you guys. MicroStrategy purchased another 122 Bitcoin. Um, we are dwindling. The pot that is left over of Bitcoin continues to dwindle every single day. Price goes down. All the big, big wallets keep gobbling it back up. Guys, there's gonna be a point where you're not gonna be able to purchase, I promise you, an entire Bitcoin. There will only be scraps left. And so it's funny to see people on Twitter complaining like, oh, you know, they only bought 122 Bitcoin. I don't know about you, but I don't have 7 million bucks laying around to buy Bitcoin or let alone one full Bitcoin. Um, I, I want, I'm trying to paint this picture of how crazy this is gonna be. You're gonna have friends, I promise you, in the future that are bragging to you about how many of these Satoshis they have. Like, oh my gosh, I've got, you know, I've got 50,000 Satoshis in your, you know, your back of your mind. You're like, oh, you know, you're new to the market. That's that's awesome. Hey, and you're gonna congratulate them, obviously walking away happy knowing that you entered the market probably eons earlier than they did. Um, again, I keep bringing this up. I'm, and that is the entire point of this channel, you guys. I wanna get the conversation going to create some form of urgency for everybody to realize how big of a deal this is with Bitcoin constantly being purchased by people who understand where this space is going. It's gonna to continue to grow. BlackRock, Fidelity, there are pension funds, endowments, insurance companies. Um, everybody that has money that's in the know is purchasing this finite asset and they are putting it in their balance sheets. They are holding it as reserve currency assets. They are getting away from the US dollar. There was a new stat that came out actually showing within, what is it, seven years? If you hold a US dollar for seven years, you've lost half of your purchasing power. Do you know what that means? Let's just say you literally have in your savings account $1,000. If you hold it long enough, you literally only end up holding 500 bucks. That's insane in such a short amount of time too. So I encourage you, if you don't wanna lose value, purchasing power, put your savings, put something in Bitcoin. And, Cause it's interesting, if you statistically look, everything against the cost of Bitcoin has gone down. Meaning a house used to cost maybe 60 Bitcoin, right? And now it only costs six Bitcoin. Like the value of Bitcoin relative to the US dollar is gonna to continue to go um, up in US dollar, which honestly, who cares? It's, it's a basically monopoly money that they can continue to print versus Bitcoin. If you're holding Bitcoin, everything becomes cheaper because the value of your Bitcoin is going up exponentially. Again, just constant food for thought. I want you guys to think through these things because as we know, Jen, Janet Yellen is is nervous. They're talking about debt way more. They're, they're looking at the numbers. We're in an election year. We're gonna see that money, money printer turn back on here relatively shortly. So we're gonna see money printer go burr and assets, they can't let them slip, right? And so think about this. The US dollar has three options. Those of us within the United States. One, say I loan 20 bucks from you and, and I, I want that, you know, I can, hey, I want, I want my money back, right? You're like, okay, I can do two things, right? I can give you the 20 bucks, make it whole, great. Two, I can say, you know what, I'm sorry, buddy, you know, hope we're friends. I can renege on that and say, you know, I can't afford it. Okay, you default on your your um, loan, uh, 20 bucks I borrowed. The third option that none of us have, but the US government does, is they can print more money to pay off their debts. And that's exactly what they're doing. So we're stealing from the future generations and future wealth, um, but basically to, to get rich now and to pay off our debts. And so it's not feasible. It's not sustainable. We can't continue to do it. It's criminality, in my opinion, and the sounds, downside is that we have the US military to back it. And so we've done this to all nations. We've basically stolen the wealth of the future for now. And so it's just, it's not right. You can fix this by buying Bitcoin. I know I've said it in previous videos, a lot of this, but when you buy Bitcoin, you are voting against the US dollar. You are voting, I say, no more to this debt. So you guys, it's just some food for thought. I want you to think through some of that. Start the conversation below. Um, I don't know, hope you guys are having a great day, but purchasing power is gonna continue to go down if you hold the dollar. If you want it to go up, buy Bitcoin, it's that simple. All right guys, chat soon.